Hello everyone, welcome to the third learning episode of our research writing series. Today, I'll be sharing with you one of the types of quantitative research design, which is the descriptive research design. The descriptive research design is a type of research that aims to obtain information to systematically describe a phenomenon, a situation, or a population. It answers the question what of the research problem rather than answering the question why. For instance, what is the level of HRM students' emphatic skills? Emphatic skill refers to the ability to feel what the other person is feeling. So going back to our question one, what is or what are we going to describe in this research question? We are going to describe the level of emphatic skills. Of whose population? Of course, the HRM students or the hotel and restaurant management students. Let's proceed to the second example. We have what are the reading material preferences of senior high school students? Third, what is the level of entrepreneurial skills of grade 11 cookery students? And fourth, what is the prevalent teaching strategy employed by the Department of Education teachers? Now let's proceed to the characteristics of descriptive research design. First is descriptive research design is quantifiable in nature. Uh, it is a collection of quantifiable and numerical data that can be used for statistical analysis to interpret the research problem. Going back to the research questions that we had a while ago, those research questions could be answered using numerical data. That is why it belongs to the descriptive research design. Another prominent characteristic of descriptive research design is its variables are uncontrolled or not manipulated, unlike the experimental research. With experimental research, we can control the variable. For instance, if you're doing experimental research and we would like to check how effective the carabao manure is, so we, the researcher, we can manipulate some of its variables. For instance, the frequency of the watering of the plants, the amount of sunlight given to a certain soil or a certain plant. So we could like control the treatments. However, with descriptive research, we simply identify the variables, observe and measure them. Another characteristic of descriptive research is it could be a good basis for future research. For instance, if you're a teacher and you'd like to check the level of listening skills of your students and then after a series of data gathering, you find out that most of your students have poor listening skills, the results of your descriptive research could be a good basis for doing an experimental research because with experimental research, you think of the solution or an intervention program that could help you improve your students' listening skills. Another form of descriptive research is market research. This is often used or employed by the business sectors because they are trying to check the product preferences of the clients or the consumers in the market and at the same time the, their level of satisfaction. Using market research or using descriptive research design, the business sectors will be able to determine what product sells best and they'll be able to know also the level of satisfaction of their clients or consumers. This way, they'll be able to know in what certain aspect of their operation they need to do some innovation. Let's proceed to the most awaited parts. Here are the sample research titles for descriptive research design. First, Job Satisfaction of Business Process Outsourcing Employees or the BPO Industry. Second, Level of Managerial Skills of School Heads in the Division of Cadiz City. Third, Implementation of Gender Mainstreaming in National Police Commission. Fourth, Parents' Involvement in the In-Person Classes of Grade 1 Pupils. And fifth, we have Financial Management of College Working Students. Now, this is one of the types of quantitative research design, which is the descriptive research design. I hope you have learned something in this presentation. Thank you so much for watching and keep on learning.